So I have this 2020 Chevrolet Corvette C8 and it's equipped with an eight speed dual clutch transmission. And there is a secret that not many people know about this transmission. So as you can see on the right, you got your normal um, push button gears. So park, reverse, neutral, drive, and a manual button. So right now I'm in park. If I want to go in reverse, I flip the little tab up and then you see R on the dash. If I want neutral, I push it. You see the N on the dash and then of course drive and manual. Now you see, if I want to go into neutral, it's an actual gear for neutral. But if I'm in drive, there's a secret, let me put it in manual mode as well. Um, there's a secret trick to disengage the clutch in this uh, C8. So if you pull both paddles at the same time, it will disengage the gear that you're in. So right now I am in first gear, I am not gonna push neutral but you will see the one will disappear and there will be no gear at all i will disengage all the gears so let's do that right now i'm going to take my foot off the brake so right now i'm kind of drifting a little bit maybe an inch or two backwards i'm kind of on an incline but right now i'm in no gears at all whereas if i let go of the paddles i'm in first gear it's not the same as neutral because neutral i push neutral you have you have the n on the dash and I'm, I'm still kind of moving like it how you would on a hill in neutral but it's not the same as if I'm in drive and then I pull both paddles and disengage the clutches and then I could freely rev the engine and then so people may think what is the point of that feature well I think the main point would be to um, you know, pull both paddles back, you're at a stoplight, you're being egged on to like, you know, blip your throttle a little, maybe you want to show off somewhere safely. It's, it's a lot easier to just pull both paddles and disengage the clutches than it is to look down quickly. Oh, where's, you know, the end button for neutral and then push it and, you know, maybe you push drive, reverse and something bad happens, but it's a lot easier to just pull both paddles. So that is the main purpose. But there might also be a secondary hidden purpose for somebody who's got a lot more skill than me, which I'm currently in the process of researching and I might have an update after this video. And if I do, I'll throw it in an article. But my thoughts are there is another vehicle out there that can uh, clutch kick in um, having you know a dual clutch transmission. And that is the Porsche 911 GT3. I remember Matt Farah did a video and he was basically clutch kicking with his paddles and I wonder if this feature can somehow induce better slides if you're, but it's kind of awkward because you'd be flipping your hands on a steering wheel to induce some sort of drift, but I imagine that the option is there and I have reached out to Chevrolet to see if I can get a talk with one of their engineers because I am not going to do that in this vehicle. I do not have the skill to do that in this vehicle. And I'm pretty sure if I did that in this vehicle, I probably wouldn't get the keys to maybe the Z06 that's coming out. So I'm not going to do it. But the idea is still there that maybe the potential to do that. But in any case, the point of this video was to show you a cool feature that probably a bunch of C8 owners probably do not know. And that is that you can disengage your clutches. But I hope you like this short video showcasing something you might not have known in the C8. Thanks for watching.